Christmas is coming up quickly. We need to buy gifts for all our bike packing friends ASAP. Have no fear, I'm gonna throw a bunch of spaghetti on the wall and hopefully some of it sticks for you. For inspiration, I walked around the Trailhead Bicycles, which is also my local bike shop that I happen to wrench at. So if you're ever in Haley, Idaho, pop on in and give a shout. Anywho, it stirred up some fun gift ideas which you should be able to source from your local bike shop or an outdoorsy hiking shop. In case I move too fast or shopping local isn't an option for you, I've included links and timestamps to everything I'll be discussing down in the description. Here we go. Every bike packer from beginning to advanced can always use a water filter. Be free. This little dude is called the Be Free from Katydin and it's currently my favorite. Why? It's super light and squishes up really tiny when you're not using it. You can sip straight from the one liter bladder or use it to fill up your other bottles and bladders. The bladder itself is soft and malleable, which I prefer better than the crunchy and crinkly platypus types. See what I mean? The bladder is made for catered in by Hydropack, so it's really rugged and extremely hard to puncture. The shape also fits nicely in a feed bag or a jersey pocket when it's full. If I'm in a hurry or racing, I'll fill it up, take a few big gulps, then refill it, throw it into a pocket, and off I go. To clean the filter, you simply swish water through the membrane or just shake it around. There's no back flushing necessary, which is nice. The filter has a high flow rate, and I find it takes much less time and energy to use than the Sawyer Mini, which I've also used for years and really like. On that note, a spare soft flask is also nice to have. Sometimes we need extra water for certain sections of a route, but don't want to waste that storage space for the whole ride. There are many of these on the market, and I've had great success with ones like this made by Osprey. Actually, Osprey outsources these flasks to guess who? Hydropack, who also makes their hydraulic water reservoirs for them. This is a good thing since all the Hydropack products I've used, including the Be Free Bladder, which I just mentioned, have all been bomber. Just like the Katydin, it's super easy to sip from. It's well shaped to fit pockets and feed bags and can also morph into nooks and crannies of your frame bag. This one's 500 milliliters in size and I also think they currently make a 350. Trust me when I say you can never go wrong giving ski straps to a bike packer. These have a zillion uses and one of these days I'll make a dedicated video about it. I'm always misplacing them or letting buddies borrow them or using them for non-bike related tasks. So yeah, you can never have enough ski straps. They come in different lengths and colors, and there's even cute little mini ones. Volet straps are the original and arguably the best, so that's what I'd choose for gift giving. You can make a fun little variety pack of different lengths and colors if that suits you. But the 24 or 25 inch length is the most common, so if you're on the fence, go with those. Some people have preferences between the plastic or metal buckles. I find they both work fine, so don't sweat it. I really like these pink ones I got from Rodeo Labs that say hold my pomplamoose. I know they also have ones that say hold my beer, so check out their website. Hey, you got any ski straps? For real, are you strapped? Leave no trace is no joke. When it's time to dig a cat hole for number two, this little deuce of spades trowel fits the bill. It's made by the Tent Lab out of Colorado. You'll definitely want to check out their website if you're into potty humor. This one has wide foot branding on it and I received it as a finisher's gift from JP's Fat Pursuit. They come in different lengths and anodized colors. Mine is a size number three, which is eight inches long. It's the largest, beefiest version they make and it still only weighs 28 grams. I highly recommend it. My only note is I like to keep a glove on when using it, or some people tape up the handle. The metal can be a little uncomfy when you're grabbing it tight and digging up hard dirt. With that said, these teeth are great at cutting roots, and it packs up perfectly with something like this, which brings me to... How convenient! The Zeffel Z-Box. This is a nifty little storage vessel made by Zeffel in France. I'm not quite sure why it's called a Z-Box, since it's actually a cylinder. I don't know, maybe Z-Tube would have been better? Regardless, it's very useful. It's lightweight and waterproof, and has this cool little indentation which helps it fit nicely in bottle cages. But what makes it better than your typical storage keg is this secondary removable compartment. This lends it some extra versatility and organization options when I need it. I usually wind up putting heavier stuff in the Z-Box, like my spares and repair kit, and mounting it on the down tube near my cranks. How's this for a little gift package, huh? A deuce trowel mounted to a Z-Box with a ski strap. Then you can fill a Zephyl with a bunch of little tchotchkes. I'll give you some more ideas in a minute when I get to the stocking stuffers, but first, how about this thermos? This is none other than a Hydro Flask Trail Series thermos. I'd like to make a toast. It features double walled stainless steel insulation, yet it's 25% lighter than Hydro Flask's regular thermoses. And it still does the job, whether you want ice cold water or hot tea or soup or warm apple cider. Pretty groovy, right? They come in different sizes from 21 ounces up to 40. This one happens to be the 32, which is my favorite. I find them great for bike packing, hiking, and day-to-day -day life in general. 
GSI also makes a Microlite series of insulated bottles. They're pretty similar to the Hydro Flask, so you should check those out too. This is another one that can be fun to make into a gift pack and fill with other bikepacking doodads. Call me soft, but a while back I started using a purpose-made camping pillow for bikepacking and my quality of sleep has never been better. Sure you can crumple up clothes into a stuff sack or use a puffy jacket, whatever. Watch how quick this works. Just like that, it's deflated. A little of this, a little of this. Boom, we're in business. I can vouch for its reliability as this exact pillow is the only one I've ever owned. It's been beaten up, stepped on, even poked at, and has never leaked any air. The only thing is maybe it smells a little. I found this little gem on Amazon. I gotta say, I'm pretty stoked with it. It's an ultra thin USB wall charger and it definitely beats carrying an iPhone cube. It's only a half inch wide and the prongs fold up. They come in different configurations and this one has two output ports. One is a regular USB-A port, which I primarily use for charging cache batteries. The other is a USB-C port, which supports 20 watt fast charging of my iPhone. So when I stop into a town for resupply and I'm scarfing out burgers and burritos to recharge my body, I'm also recharging my devices. I gotta admit, I'm usually pretty off the mark when I attempt to give clothing as gifts. So I pretty much steer clear of apparel. But there are two items that I am pretty confident in recommending for bikepacking gifts. That would be neck gaiters and socks. I don't know any bikepackers or cyclists in general that wouldn't be stoked with an extra buff or a high quality pair of socks. Your local bike shop or outdoorsy shop should have a fun selection of both. For neck gaiters, I tend to use merino wool options like this one from Icebreaker for shoulder seasons or bikepacking in winter. For summer and warm to hot rides, I like these ultra thin buff branded cool net UV models. They protect my neck from the sun while still wicking away sweat. And they're plenty refreshing when you dip them in the river for a quick cool down. For the majority of my bike packing in almost all weather conditions, I prefer Swiftwick socks. I was introduced to them over 10 years ago when a single speeding buddy of mine named DJ Birch hooked me up with this pair of single speed Superman socks. I wore this exact pair for years and years before they finally got a hole in the big toe. I also swapped between these two pairs on the Tour Divide. Never one blister, never a hole, and always comfy. I've pretty much tested their whole product line and I've come to the conclusion I prefer the Pursuit 7s. In my opinion, they have the perfect combo of cushion and compression with the ideal merino wool blend. They keep me warm when it's chilly and wick sweat when it's hot. My only gripe is I wish they made more color options or some fun patterns to spruce it up a bit. As far as I know, they only come in black, dark gray, and light gray. Blase. Moving right along, I'm gonna transition to some smaller, maybe less expensive, but equally thoughtful gifts. We'll call these stocking stuffers. You can't go wrong with a mini or bikepacking size chain loop. If you've seen my chain loop video, you know I have an affinity towards SCC Slick, Wolftooth WT1, and Dumontech. They're all available in bikepacking friendly sizes, and I even gave a few away for Trail Magic Monday a while back. Or how about some mini packets of chamois butter? <laughs> they always hit the spot. Or you could throw in a jumbo tin of the new chamois butter ultra. We always need sunscreen. I like this mini one from Dermatone, but pretty much anything from the travel section of Target will do. I like this mini bug spray from Benz. Mini toothpaste, mini dental floss. You get where I'm going. Lip balm or chapstick is also a great stocking stuffer. Or you can go with a combo lip balm and sunblock stick like this from Duke Cannon or Dermatone. I vouch for both of them. Don't forget a small bottle of tubeless sealant like this four ounce one from Orange Seal. Or you can go with a two ounce mini bottle from Stance. You could pair that with a tire plug kit or a couple patch kits, maybe some tire boots. You can even throw in a CO2 cartridge or an inflator. And before you know it, you're on your way to a nice little flat repair kit. You can also go with some emergency items like these UCO stormproof matches. Or how about a super nifty bear whistle? Another great use for it is you can wake up your friends when you're camping like an army drill sergeant. <laughs> or how about some water treatment tablets to go with the bee free filter from the tippy top of this video. Don't sleep on nutrition either. You can throw in a cliff bar, a candy bar, a stroop waffle, some peanut M&Ms, pistachios, cashews, dark chocolate, all kinds of good stuff. Or how about some nun tablets or recovery powder or chomps or sour patch kids. These all make great stocking stuffers. All right, I've got two, Actually, three last things to mention. A custom top cap can be very fun. I've always cherished the Yoda one I took on the Tour Divide. Do or do not, there is no try. I got that one from Brian at Dispatch Bikes. He recently made these awesome ones for me in support of the YouTube channel. Make trail magic and ride bikes, give back, pay it forward. What could be better, right? 
I'm actually thinking about buying a bunch of these and selling them to raise proceeds for Trail Magic Monday. Let me know if you think it's a good idea down below. I'm also thinking about making some custom ski straps to raise some money for Trail Magic Monday. What do you think of that idea? Let me know below. P.S. Brian at Dispatch is also the dude behind the Fred Bar. Anywho, a custom top cap can make a great gift, so check out his website. Oh, he also makes these super cool ultralight Tyvek wallets for bikepacking. They're also on his website, so check it out. If all of this is too daunting or you're simply short on time, there's no shame in grabbing a gift card. Especially if your gifty is the kind of person that already has everything or is super picky, like me. It might actually be your best bet. And when you visit your local bike shop, consider bringing some chocolate or some sparkling water or some beer for the mechanics. And tell them how stoked you are that you have such an awesome shop and what a blessing they are to the community. In closing, I just want to remind you that you don't need to buy gifts, you can create them. You can conjure up a free bike wash coupon or craft a personalized card or a handwritten note. Whether included with another gift or as a standalone, I think we forget the power of the pen and handwritten gestures these days. It's hard to admit, but I can definitely get tunnel visioned with stuff I want when I need to prioritize being a selfless, cheerful giver. So let's you and I make a pact to give with delight this holiday season and beyond. Click like if you agree, say hi in the comments, and please consider subscribing for more bikepacking and mountain biking nerdery. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward. Thanks so much for squeezing dirty teeth into your busy schedule. Please help us reach more people and ensure you receive new videos by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the notification bell. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.